As the sun shines on all of my glory My flaws don't look so bad at all What was I so afraid of? Everybody is Charmel. Welcome and welcome back to Locks Lux Lifestyle. Welcome back to another video. If you enjoy lock content, lifestyle content, and self-help and self-development content, then make sure to hit that subscribe button because I do a little bit of all of that. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in. And hey y'all, how y'all doing? Mm. Um, so today is Saturday. Whew. I just tried to start this vlog earlier this week when I had first got back from Texas but it just wasn't happening okay I needed a couple of days to recuperate I needed a couple of days to get back on my schedule like I don't party all the time but when I do party I make it count <laughs> um and so yeah we had a really good time in Houston but I, I had to take some days to get back to myself um but yeah Today, like I said, it's Saturday. It is 4.15 in the afternoon. I'm actually getting ready to go out um, for dinner and drinks with the girls. Misha's birthday is in a couple days, so we are going out to do a little pre-celebration um, for that. So yeah, I just finished getting dressed and doing my makeup and doing my hair I shot a I filmed a video too on some lock styles which this video this hairstyle is included in that video um but I had put my scarf down to kind of set my hair one last time and I had a whole line across my forehead so I'm trying to blend that back out and get that together I think it's better now um but yeah I just wanted to check in and start this video um before I head out this door because I am in a rush let's see i'm always in a rush i'm pretty much ready though i was kind of filming a little tiktok too so i need to put on my full outfit so i could show y'all but i don't like driving in heels i want this pink two-piece set that i showed you guys in my like not my last vlog but my vlog before it's from she and and I bought it for Texas, but it ended up being too hot to wear this. Like, it was just too hot all the days we were there. So, it never got worn. But that's okay because I got somewhere to wear it now. Um, just put on some perfume. This is the Valentino. I actually just purchased this one. It smells so good. It's kind of sweet, soft, and very feminine. Um, but, yeah. I feel really cute. Let me put my shoes on. So, I'm just going to be wearing this, like, woven clutch that I got from Fashion Nova and then uh, uh, uh oh then I also have like these strappy heels I have like the bubble heel and I think these are from Miss Lola I purchased these like a year or two ago oh I'm getting hot we have reservations so you know we really have to be on time I'm also going to go pick Misha up and then I can't decide if I want to actually drive to the restaurant or park at my friend Janae's house and Uber to the restaurant because she's going to. Only reason I don't want to drive to the restaurant is because they've been having a lot of break-ins, like cars and stuff. They've been having a lot of car break-ins in that area and now is not the time. outfit simple so cute i do not have my shoes tied properly but i'm gonna fix them when i get there oh, all right y'all let me get my purse together so i can get out this house get out this house and then i will see you guys once we get to the restaurant so we are out here at Uway in downtown oakland getting ready to have some drinks and eat some good food for misha's birthday say, say hey Mish. <laughs> she look cute. She getting all the daddies. They've been saying, commenting on her thick thighs. The thick thighs say blah.
Actually just getting home from work I had to work in the office today this is actually the first time I've worked like a full day in the office since 2019 um, so yeah I just got home from work and I'm about to start dinner before like I start losing my momentum so tonight for dinner I'm doing some green beans and potatoes and then I'm gonna fry some fish and some shrimp so yeah let me set you guys up I'm gonna put my green beans and potatoes on right now and then um <clears throat> and then probably shower and stuff and then come back and fry my fish but i want to put these on because i know that's going to take the not too long but that's going to take a little time so let me set you guys up and we can start cooking <music>
this week this week honestly i don't know what this week was okay so like i said it's friday i'm actually going to mexico tomorrow and this week just ended up being it just it just you know how you plan out ahead of time and then everything goes like a completely different direction that's what this week was so i got back from houston last week as soon as i returned to work i got hit with the whammy i basically had to work in the office like half of last week and then like all of this week i've been working in the office like four days in the office and i'm not about that on-site in office work life no more okay after working from home for two years like going back to the office to work like four days 
was a lot like i was already going to the office like once a week um but i would go in for a couple hours do what i need to do and get out but this past week being there every day it took like every little bit of energy i had luckily i didn't have to do too much packing um because like my toiletries and makeup and stuff that was still packed from houston so i just kind of kept that as is and i just had to switch out clothes and stuff like that do laundry what else like i just felt like it's like before i started working from home like i knew that work took up most of my days but you just working from home you could i just feel like you just get so much of your life back and there were so many things that i'm just used to doing around the house um working from home that i didn't get to do this week and now i feel like it's friday evening and i'm like rushing trying to do everything luckily i have like a late flight tomorrow so i don't fly out until like midnight tomorrow so i have pretty much all of saturday to finish getting my stuff together but it's friday y'all and i'm just tired on top of that like so y'all know like at the beginning of the year i started eating cleaner you know i was doing the intermittent fasting and all of that and for the most part i'm still doing the intermittent fasting pat on my bag um i've been intermittent fasting pretty much this entire year the only time i didn't do it is when i went out of town just because it's hard to stay on the schedule when you were with the group and when i'm on vacation like i'm gonna enjoy myself so when i went to houston last week i feel like i kind of still kind of stayed in line with my intermittent fasting but definitely wasn't eating clean march in general like my eating although i was fasting still what i was eating wasn't the best and so after houston last week i'm like okay these this next week and a half like i need to detox and get it together before i go to mexico and i'm in a bikini and all of this and none of that happened not at all i mean i was taking a salad to work every day but dinner mm -mm. dinner it was just not happening honestly i feel like we ate out half of the week i think i cooked twice this week um and the rest of the days we ate out just because working sitting in traffic and coming home like i wasn't about to cook nothing <laughs> um but i say all that to say like i had everything planned out what i wanted to do this week and just none of it i won't say none of it happened but it just didn't go as i had planned and now it's friday and i'm tired but the great part is that i'm about to be off for a week about to go on vacation so like i said i'm going to mexico i'm going to cancun actually um and this was not really a planned trip so my cousin was supposed to be going for a bachelorette party that ended up getting canceled but my cousin couldn't get a refund for her ticket and she couldn't get a credit for her ticket either um so she asked if i wanted to come and i'm like girl yeah because i'm due for a vacation so that's how this uh, mexico trip came about it was pretty last minute um but i'm excited i haven't really i haven't been out the country in the last two years so i'm super excited for that and i feel like after the week i had i deserve to have me a nice vacation it's like 8 45 almost um i washed my hair and i'm gonna do a braid out i'm not quite due for a retwist yet i think i have about a week or two before i can retwist my hair again and plus I'm like, if I'm going to be on the beach, if I'm going to be in the pool, getting my hair wet, it really makes no sense to even retwist my hair. So, I'm attempting to do this braid out. Um, I wash my hair. I'm going to have a separate video for it. But I wash my hair and I just put it in these little plaits. And I'm going to probably just keep my hair braided until we actually get to Mexico and then take it out. Then, because, yeah, I just feel like it's pointless to get up tomorrow and take it out and then be traveling and all of that. So... I'm um, just wait till we actually get to Mexico to undo it. Hopefully it sets right because I don't need to be hit with no more whammies. I'm trying to open this box. I bought me a new camera, you guys. <laughs> so, if y'all watched my last, if y'all watched my Houston vlog, y'all know the footage wasn't that good. So, basically, so. I have the camera that I'm filming on now and this is the camera that I usually film for like my hair tutorials and when I do chit chat videos makeup videos and stuff like this and I really like this camera this is a really good camera this is a Canon EOS I don't know the number but I've had this for about a year and a half now and I really like this camera but it is like bulky um before I had this one I had a Canon the G7X Mark II 
and I used to that camera did me justice too um and so once I got this one so I had the Canon G7S Mark G7X Mark II camera first and I was using that to do all videos so to for tutorials vlogs all of that and then when I got this one I started using this one for tutorials again and then the other one for vlogging and then I broke that one and I broke that last summer y'all and I had never replaced it and for the most part y'all know when I do my vlogging like I don't be nowhere I be at home so it's easy to use this camera like when I'm at home vlogging and stuff and then if I do go out I usually just use my iPhone because the iPhone camera is pretty good quality too and a lot of times when I'm out like you know I have my phone I do a few little clips here or there and then I enjoy my time but when I went to Houston I'm like okay I don't want to film the entire Houston trip with my iPhone I don't want to carry this bulky camera either um and so I was going to just replace the camera I had well I started researching like different vlogging cameras to see you know what was out there and the ones that I was most interested in my Best Buy and my Target they were out of stock so I would have had to order it and it wasn't gonna make it in time and so then I was like okay let me get on Amazon and see what I can find and Amazon had all these little cheap cameras for like $130 $140 they're supposed to be 4k and it was on Amazon Prime and I'm like I'm gonna try it out <laughs> so I ordered one of those cameras um because if I would have ordered from Best Buy I wouldn't have got the camera in time and I tested it out before traveling and you know the quality wasn't I knew the quality wasn't gonna be like this but I'm like I don't need the quality to be you know I don't need the quality to be like super top tier you know um, this is a $130 camera, so I wasn't expecting the quality to be like super high, but I'm like, okay, it'll work. So I tested out some shots in my house um, filming, but I never actually like exported the clips into my laptop to see how they transferred over and how the quality was like to edit and all of that stuff. So went to Houston was filming the whole weekend and then once I finally came back and I you know imported the clips into my laptop I'm like oh my god this quality is trash the the audio quality was bad so unless you were like right in front of the camera you couldn't really hear it that good but then it's like it picked up on everything right and it was just it was just bad I say all that to say I was like I cannot continue to use this camera for vlogging so Soon as I got back home and I edited that vlog and seen it, I ordered my Canon G7X. I ordered the exact same one I used to have um, because I wanted to have a quality camera for when I travel this weekend or in next week or whatever. So, <sighs> y'all, I'm sorry about that quality on that other video. Um, but I do have a better camera now. So this is how the camera looks. Aww. I still have my broken camera like this. I was gonna, when, I, when it first broke, I took it to Best Buy, but I didn't have a warranty. So they were telling me that they couldn't do anything. And they were saying most likely with the warranty, they just would have replaced it. Um, and so I looked up some camera repair places in my area, but I just never actually when to do it and that was like in july or august of last year and i'm like if i ain't did it by then i need to just go ahead and get a new one whatever oh yes this is so much better than that other camera i had i gotta go find my other memory card though <sighs> But yeah, y'all, I'm just catching y'all up because I've been a horrible vlogger this week. But <clears throat> that's it. That's all I got to ramble to y'all about. I have me some wine. Now I'm, I'm technically out of my fasting hours, but I deserve this glass of wine today. So I got my wine. I'm going to probably watch a little TV or something and I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired. So yeah, tomorrow I think I'm gonna go work out in the morning. Um, probably finish my final packing, and then I think me and Babe are gonna go have lunch. 
before I leave. And then I'll be headed to the airport later that evening. So, oh, excuse me, y'all. I'm tired. I'll check back in with y'all later. Or if not, if this is the end of the vlog, I don't think I got enough footage for this to be the end of the vlog. But if this is the end of the vlog, thank you all so much for tuning in. And I will see y'all in my next, my next vlog. Thank <laughs> you.